Hey. Oh, garbage. Garbage in the clubhouse. Again on the floor. I, and more garbage. And more garbage. Oh, Phil, we talked about this at the last meeting. My bad. Yeah, it definitely is. No more of that. Okay? Keep it in the garbage, man. Don't be so Oops. gross. People are watching. Oops. <sighs> Good help's hard to find, everybody. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Zuck. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online news. Yeah. And today we're going to be um, just quickly talking about a few updates. Um, something that's old that a lot of people have become aware of, including me. So I just found out about it that apparently the fastest land vehicle in the game is the Gargoyle right here. The Western Gargoyle. <laughs> yeah. So uh, big thanks to our friend uh, uh, Redwan. Redwan. Yeah. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. This guy. Let me drive his bike. <laughs> and check it out so i thought we'd get our own so that's coming out uh, very very soon guys i've got my own now as you guys can see so we'll have our customization episode come out uh, for that and explain some more of the details but we'll also check it out in this episode too so for uh, for you guys for the news you guys will know now uh i also wanted to talk about another thing too the uh, the fastest way to load up in solo sessions and things like that um so this is the western gargoyle let's get that out of the way with <laughs> Yeah, they're only, uh, what, I think 110,000, just over 100 grand, and then plus your upgrades. And as long as you get the uh, the right wheels here, the right wheels on the back, um, the most expensive ones at the bottom of the list, they're big rims and they affect the speed, and you'll actually end up faster than you really should be. Yeah, so let's take it out here for a second. Although it's kind of hard to show you guys without like a really good straightaway, but it just goes like it shouldn't. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the, the speed bursts that a lot of bikes get when you lean the back. Well, the Gargoyle is crazy. And on top of that, though, it's very versatile, very um, uh, great bike for stunting, you know. Um, very easy to maneuver, especially as you practice with it. Dangerous. <laughs> oh, just as I say that. Uh, uh. But yeah, it is currently the, uh, the fastest land vehicle in the game to those that want to have that. Now, it's a little hard to bike, but, you know, lots of players love it. And uh, it's a great one to add to the collection without it costing too much. Yeah. So, very cool. On top of that, it's great for stunting, great for climbing, great for doing anything. Not so great for crashing and for staying alive, though, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, I should have stayed on the highway. Might be able to get a good run right here. As you guys can see, apparently it gets up to about 171 miles per hour, which is just crazy. Um, I could be a little wrong, but off the top of my head, I think the other fastest vehicle is the Vigilante, the Batmobile, and it's clocks in usually around high 140s, 150 miles per hour, we'll call it. Somewhere around there, I believe, depending on your speeds. And uh, otherwise, it's the, the Pagali, which is around 130 some odd miles per hour. So I'm only telling you guys that so that you guys got an idea of just how fast this 170 is, comparatively speaking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, that's that for the Western Gargoyle. Now, in a moment, I'm going to reload my game here. Just get some more body armor this time. And I'll show you guys how to load up a little bit faster, what I think is the fastest and best way to load up into the game. Because a couple people recently that I was watching were kind of talking about that recently. My results, personally, were a little different. But uh, So I thought maybe you guys can uh, try it out for yourselves and see what you guys think. Now, unfortunately, it does mainly help out the PC players, but maybe it'll help out some console players, too. This little hill, I wonder if it's going to work for us on a bike. I've never, I don't know if I've tried it on a bike. This, this hill is a magic hill. Nope. Maybe it's on the other side here. Not sure if it'll work on a bike or not. doesn't work with a bike. Maybe I can show you guys what I mean here. Sorry. I totally freaked. Yeah, you're the unlucky guy. Sorry. <laughs> I need to borrow your vehicle for a second. Because they're probably wondering, what the hell is he talking about? Unless you guys know of this spot. This is a little bit of a glitch spot, unless they fixed it. 
What a weird spot. So speaking of weird glitches. See? There we go. Magic hill. See? We're going uphill. I'm not pressing any buttons or doing anything. So apparently it doesn't work with bikes, or at least that bike. But other things it does. See? <laughs> and uh, I noticed this a while back with a friend with a Karuma that... Uh, up in there that, that is, things slide up the zill for unknown reasons I think it might even happen on the other side but only around here so I'll go to the map and show you guys where that is in a second if you ever wanted to show friends this weird spot or something where things go uphill yeah works on the other side too turn off the light a little glare see she's sliding up very cool <laughs> yeah so on the map here for those that don't know, that's right near my Chumash bunker. And there's a little ravine right here that goes through. And it seems like it's just this area right here. Over here it doesn't seem to work, and back there it didn't work for me before. But right here it does. not does. So, a little bonus uh, glitch for you guys today, for those that don't know it. And it'll actually bring you all the way up. Totally useless. <laughs> I have no idea why, and I don't know if there's other spots like this in the game. But uh, it just brings you all the way up. Oh, we're going to hit the top any second here. And how far will it push us? Yeah, that's it. So you actually have to fight against it in some ways. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right back. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta reload the game and we'll go through that. Sorry, man, I'm not going to be able to give your car back. <laughs> uh. Alright, guys, so here I am, just loading back up. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to load this any faster. <laughs> Better equipment, but in many ways, I don't know, some games it seems time to the system. There we go. Alright. So, this is the main menu. It's pretty much the same on all platforms um, for the uh, PS4 or the Xbox One or on PC. Now, uh, generally speaking, I find mine's to be different uh, than other people. Other people are talking about lately, they found that this was the fastest way. So you guys could try that. And then uh, basically you'd start up the event. This can change, right now it's two times RP for Target Assault Rush series. But that'll change. It could be races, it could be other things like that that I'll give you two times four. And whatever event it is that week, it'll quite often let you into that. For some people, faster. And basically, as soon as you get towards uh, into the mission, into the race, whatever it is, you would just quit right out, and then it would put you into the session. Now, for me, I don't know why, and other people talk about this too, why is it different for different people? This is not the case for me. This is slow. Online is the slowest way. And next to that, this is almost the other's lowest way. I find it takes mine forever. So I disagree with other people. It doesn't go fast for me. Um, so you guys can try that for yourself. But uh, I find, like other people, that the story mode is the best way of going. So we're going to go in there and I'm going to show you guys some more stuff too in a moment. I just find going to story mode and then on to online from there, you can go into an on invite only session or right onto a public session. And I find uh, with other people, it's actually faster. Um, for me anyway. And as well, it seems to be more reliable, but that could be out of date. I know that when I tested this a couple years ago, when I started doing a lot of the YouTube stuff, um, I used to push a lot of our older equipment very hard, overclocking and whatnot, and I, you know, you run into the odd crash here and there. And uh, I read about that and I agreed with it that, that there was less crashes when I loaded to single player first. So there's our single player. We're going to go to online. Now I usually maybe go to invite only and then warm up and then check on stuff perhaps and then go to go, but we'll just go right now. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys an even faster way of loading up too. All right. So this is another trick that uh, helps the PC players, but it might help out the console. So I'll explain all this in just a moment, but first I'll show you guys getting in. So right now I'm in the clouds. I'm loading up. Now, as you guys probably already know, you guys can sometimes hang in the clouds forever, right? And you never know how long it's going to be right now. We could be in in a minute. It could be like, oh wait, who knows? So I'm going to drop down to my desktop. 
So there's various ways of doing that. On the computer, usually it's Alt Enter and then uh, the Windows button D. So that's uh, for your desktop. And then you're, there's various ways. Just get to your desktop. And then you can bring up your resource monitor. You can bring that up through a few different ways. Um, you can go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, and you'll find the resource monitor in there and create a shortcut. You can go to your Task Manager by Control it Deleting or right clicking on your Windows button and get your Task Manager and then Performance and then Open Resource Monitor. And here's our resource monitor right here. Okay, you click on Network. Wait for it to show up. Let me go back in the game. Nope, it's going to let us join. Now, uh, other people, I was going to say, that, you know, I find that after you've joined for the day, it seems to join up even faster. So, we're still waiting in the clouds. I'm going to switch over to this. Our GTA 5, right click on it after you checkbox it, and say suspend process. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, I count fast. <laughs> Put it back in, and now it will load immediately. That works every time, as long as you time it right. Okay, so I'm going to explain that in just a moment, because otherwise I have to reload it all again to show you guys. But now I'm going to load into my own session. I should be all by myself. Yep, public session, all by myself. Okay, so I wanted to talk about that for a moment. Some people call that solo session. It is not, to me, it's not really a solo session. It's a starting a new session, okay? I'm not really in a solo session. Any moment, people could join up with me. In a, in a minute or two, there could be 10 people in here. Or I could be left alone for hours. It, you never really know. But it's not really the same thing. There are ways in the past of getting a solo session so that other people can join you. To me, that's kind of borderline cheating. And it can mess with it if you wanted to play with friends or other things like that. So, And generally speaking, lagging out your game is not a good idea. <laughs> you know, in general, like as a permanent solution so that you're always alone. So this is really starting a new session is what I, what I would call it. And I've covered this in the past. And I've also said in the past, it's the one area that I don't really agree with Rockstar. That they, you know, only, Even in their previous games, GTA 4, you could pick different uh, lobbies, different sessions. You know, you'd be able to just press pause and you'd pick a lobby and you could pick a full lobby, an empty lobby and uh, or start a new session, you know and, and I don't know why, because GTA the GTA Online lets you it just hides the ability you know, so you players, uh, me, us players, all we can do is uh, just join new session, join new session, join new session now for those of you that try this, you will usually eventually end up alone How you doing? Busy Lester <laughs> but good <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, that's loading up into it. Now I'm going to show you some more about that for those that are interested. So I'm going to just drop back to my desktop. Yeah, that's me, Mr. Sock. <laughs> So there's our desktop here now. I'm going to show you. There's my resource monitor. I recommend putting a little shortcut on your desktop, on your taskbar for that, or on your desktop. Depends on the Windows system you have. As I already showed you, you can get through the task manager that way, or control panel, administrative tools, and then uh, resource monitor right there. Okay. Now, once you bring it up, if I didn't already say, well, you click on network and it'll stay on network. Notice how I brought it up again and it was already on network. And even after you restart, most newer systems will just remember network. So you won't even have to click that again. It'll just stay there. Okay. And all you do is click on that and then suspend process for about seven to 10 real life seconds. All right. And you might have to play with that to get the right timing for yourself. I count fast. So in my mind, I count like 14, 15 seconds. Um, I, you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's just the way it is for me. I try it other ways and it doesn't work. I don't know about that, but I think they should let me sort it out. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So, um, yeah. So, let's see. I cover all of that. So, that's the solo session on, or starting a new session on the PC. Now, for the console players, that can help, too. If you're lucky enough as a console player to be able to have, like, a like a Ethernet wire, an Internet wire plugged in, or or be near their router. Some people don't always have access or on their, wi or their own wireless. But if you are lucky enough, you could always try to unplug your Internet and then plug it back in. And if you time it right, you might be able to do what people are doing on the computer, which is really just lagging yourself out you know, uh, causing delays, lag, okay? Um, it's actually built into the system. It's a protected system. It's designed so that all of us don't drop every time there's interference or every time there's a lag or, or whatnot on this, on your, or their internet. And so because of that, it just drops you in your own session. You'd be surprised how many times it says friends and I've left and things like that, or you left and really it was just somebody lagged and then you dropped in your own session. Right. So a little bit of explanation. It's really starting your own session, not a solo session, although it has the same result quite often. All right. And a little bit of help for the PC players for the resource monitor. And hopefully that the idea of lagging yourself out can help out some of you console players. Um, you can play with different timings of that and different ways of doing that to maybe sort that out.
Uh, and as well, because other people are saying it, you guys could try the double money event and, and then quit as soon as you're in and see if that's faster for you. Because some people say that's faster for them. But all I can tell you is for me, it's definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Oh, I uh, just thought I'd toss this in. Maybe uh, probably out of, out of sync a little bit with the rest of it, but just to show you guys a second time. Even in game. So, just going to go to online. Let's find a new session. Off into the clouds we go. Now, sometimes it can take a moment. But, like I said, we can go here. Go there. Wait for it to pop up. Suspend process. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I got funny counting. <laughs> and there we go. Now I drop back in here. And all of a sudden we're in. Just like that. Every time. Just kind of good. As long as you time it right. And now if you take too long, just for those that are wondering, um, it'll just kick you back to your single player typically. So not the end of the world if that happens. All right, so some updates of the day. I just felt like doing a little bit of an update today. There's the uh, about the update about the gargoyle, which is really a two-year-old update that a lot of people don't know about, including myself until earlier. So thanks, Bruffy1322. Thanks, uh, uh, Red One. Really appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for watching. I don't know, maybe I should do some more. Shout out soon. Yeah, I'll do some shout out soon. <laughs> you guys comment if you want. Because <laughs> I'm terrible with names. i got to work on pronunciation. <laughs> or you could just hear me slay them. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. I think I'm going to go kill myself a few more times maybe get better at it probably not <laughs> bye everybody thanks for watching thanks for subscribing see you soon see you next time let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover uh, we'll cover some more news um, and of course our regular episodes are coming out soon um, i'm going to have like i said this uh, customization coming out soon for our gargoyle and some other new episodes coming out soon too um, so if you have anything else you want me to cover, I know that uh, some people wanted me to do some races. We'll see about that. Um, and some other things, uh, you know, I'm looking for ideas. Why not? Got lots of ideas, but uh, I'm always, always interested in more. And yeah, some other titles too. I might play some other GTA, or GTA, some other titles as well. I'm not sure. There's a whole bunch of good games up there. I was looking at Sea of Thieves for a while. It's kind of disappointed a lot of people again. It's too bad. Too bad. There's a bunch of other good titles out there too. Far Cry 5 was mentioned. Thanks, Jay-Z. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of good titles. So maybe you guys can let me know what you think is good. Fortnite's popular right now. You know, basic but fun game. Very, uh, you know, Battle Royale. I don't know. All right, take care, everybody. Talk to you soon. See you in the next uh, regular episodes. And see you soon for the next news, too. Woohoo. I'm off to go die. Maybe you guys can watch if you want. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. You gotta keep that front down when that happens. <laughs> and the rain's probably not exactly the most help either. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is there a jump over there? I think there is, isn't there? I see that, but is that just. Is there a jump? I don't know, I've been in here forever. No. Does not look like a jump. I mean, maybe if you aimed it right, but I got a feeling that you just end up taking your head off. But let's find out. Let's find out. If I can aim it right. Oh no, I <laughs> I cannot aim it right. Uh. <laughs> well, I was kind of expecting to die anyway, but not there. I was expecting to die up there. Flying along that spot right Make over there. Way for Mama. Oh, those trees. They get you. They get you every time. Jump! Ooh, it is a jump! <laughs> well, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, I gotta go see the doctor. Uh, uh.
Hmm, <laughs> blood stain back there. On the wall. <laughs> 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 